Now we can move into the bathroom. In a bathroom, you have a bathtub. And that's what this is with a shower. Two sinks and double évier, again with taps, hot, medium, and cold water. Over here you have a cupboard where we keep all of our shaving stuff and so on. This is a towel rack. And that is a bath mat. The one disadvantage in this bathroom is no window. I wish we had a window here, but we don't. Maybe that's why we have such a big mirror. And in the morning when I shave, I like to listen to some music on the little radio here. Soap in a soap dish. See this little face here? This is not a gremlin. It just holds my toothbrush. Then I can show you, I think. Ah. This is not a weapon, don't be afraid. It is a hair dryer, which my wife, who has much longer hair than I, she uses the hair dryer. Uh, so much for the bathroom. Now let's end with the toilet. Very often in English-speaking countries, the toilet, toilet is in the bathroom. But since we're in France right now, we follow the French tradition and the toilet is separate from the bathroom. I think there's no need to look at it. You know what one looks like. But here is another difference uh, between American English, we say toilet in America, and British English, the British understand the word toilet, of course, but they have two other terms. One, which you see sometimes in France, WC, WC, which the French call WC, although it's W, WC, and that means in English, water closet. If an American is in England and someone says to him or her, would you like to go to the water closet? They will think, well, why should I go? What is the water closet? Why do you need a closet to keep water? And just to end this little series of courses on an apartment, there's a very good other term the English use called loo. To go to the loo is what Americans call go to the bathroom. What do you think loo comes from? I think it was in the 17th or 18th century that an English person was traveling in France and saw the following scene one morning. At that time, there was no internal sewage in people's houses. And so early in the morning, they would open their windows, one, two, three floors up, and empty their chamber pots. And in doing so, they would cry to any people walking in the street, they would shout, Gare à l'eau. The English person, English visitor heard, l'eau, 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 l'eau. And that is where the English word l'eau comes from. And I think most English people don't even know it. And an American, average American, if you say, do you want to go to the l'eau, would not understand at all what you're talking about.
Thank you very much for your attention. We'll have another short series of courses soon.